Hello, Eli here, and in this video, we are going to be going over importing your AWS resources into Kirna. So this video is for people that want to use Kirna or will use Kirna in the future that says, hey, I don't have any infrastructure as code, but I would like to. And we already have stuff in our AWS environment, in our cloud environment, then we would love to convert that into IAC. So here today, I'm going to show you how Kerna can do that for you. So if we navigate up to our team and we join our team, we enter our team and we go into the admin portal as every team should have an admin and we go down to import infra. And what this does is then it'll give you the instructions to acquire the CSV. So the CSV or the JSON, because we support both of them, um, it gives you the instructions on how to extract or get that CSV from your cloud service provider. So you can then upload that into Kirna and we can begin generating your infrastructure as code for you with uh, no issue. So let's go back here. As you can see, it tells you how to do it with AWS Migration Hub, with the CSV export, it gives you those step-by-step -step instructions. I already have done it, so I'm going to upload mine. So let's go here, select files. Let me scroll down to mine. Let's click the small one. And here's my CSV. It'll give me the resources that I am importing. It'll ask what repository do I want that code to be generated in? So it would be good to have a repository beforehand or an empty repository created so those resources can go in there. Or if you want to add it to an existing repository, uh, you have more power to do so. And I'm going to click, um, let's click import test. Let's generate it. And from that point on, it begins generating, tracking your changes. In the meantime, I'm going to play a game. As you can see, I'm not very good at that game, but our code is created. So I'm going to hit keep over all of the changes here. And there are some duplicates because I have created this before. So this will show you our live, our live auto healing that can auto heal and change the actual resource names of those values so they aren't duplicated resources. And just like that, your code is created, the resource names are changed, the readme's there with the information that was created to give you a more advanced look into what is actually being created. And here we're going to pull, and create that pull request, sorry. And now we are waiting for the merge, so we're gonna merge. And then we're going to go back and another thing that I want to go over while we're here is the fact that, okay, you may have all of these different resources in a repository and you may not have a deep understanding of everything that is going on. So you might not know what this is. So let's say you don't know what an AWS instance is. Okay. So we can select that, right click it, hit show definition and Karen will give you the actual definition or the explanation of what that resource is. So here it'll say, we're providing an EC2 instance resource. This allows instances to be created, updated, and deleted. Instances also support provisioning. And it also gives the common attributes in the code. And if you want a deeper dive, you can come down here and click full documentation. And it actually takes you to the Terraform registry where it goes into more deeper detail to give you that educational piece when you might not understand exactly what is happening. Also within that option list, 
When you right click, you'll also see the estimate cost option where we'll give you cost estimates based on each resource. We also have security checks. So as you can see here, we have some security issues that we need to fix and we can fix those. And we also have dependency checks. So it will find dependencies in your code or in your infra and be able to tell you what resources those resources use and what it all depends on as well. So that's all we have for this video. I wanted to just kind of go over it in short of how you can import your CSP infrastructure into Kerna and automatically convert it into Terraform code so you can have IAC for your infra, whether it's AWS or DigitalOcean. And in further videos, I will go into more detail about how that actually works and doing it for other CSPs as well.